Yeah, you can't reveal yeah, that, right? right. <laughs> so I think if you went and told her a lot of the stuff, if she knew a lot of the stuff about your childhood, if she, like, I think there'd be a way, like you and me, who would thought we would be able to connect, right. that you would be able to connect with her. I'm sure there's, yeah. there's something there. But, but so you go on. Uh -huh. And uh, you didn't say anything about them that necessarily having a lesbian-like relationship. Didn't go there. No. But you did but talk I about didn't your new girlfriend. But I didn't know she was going to bring it up. Right. Because I did say on my show that I thought they were a little gay. -ish. Now, why did you suddenly get comfortable talking about the new girlfriend? There was a period of time where you were keeping quiet. Yeah. And the relationship was just blossoming. Yeah. But you couldn't say anything. Right. Well, you know, when it got to the point where um, I knew we were going to be photographed in public, or they, they had a few pictures of us, and then I said to Tracy, like, as soon as it gets out there, the, it's kind of like the roller coaster clicks on and you're going for the ride. So make the, sure we're ready at that point. And there are ten kids involved. The, now, now talk to me about that. She has six kids. Six kids. And, five. Her, and her body's pretty rocky. Yes, it is. I didn't see stretch marks. She was <laughs> no. up in the... Uh, well, there are, she had five adopted from foster care. Oh, okay. And she gave birth to the youngest child, who's six, named Wyatt, who has Down syndrome. Oh, my God. Yeah. And you're telling me... Yeah. She's going to move in with those six kids? Yeah. By they. Can you imagine Can that? you imagine But that now nightmare? who's our mutual friend? But wait a Mia second. Mia Farrow has yeah. been my idol for years. But wait a second. All right, Howard, this doesn't seem for good. A I'll tell you something. All right, go ahead, go. Listen. Go. For a relationship to work out, uh -huh. very difficult. Mm -hmm. You give the pressure of ten kids. I mean, even Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie are the two best-looking people in the world. They sure are. And they can't make it. Are they the two stupidest fucking people in the world? <laughs> why, Brad why, Pitt why? Why? <laughs> because, first of all, they met on a movie set. How cliche That's can cliche. you get? That's cliche. Number agree. one. Okay. Yes, she's a hot piece of ass, but you got to stop if you're Brad Pitt and say, I'm Brad Pitt. Yeah. I'm getting a tremendous amount of women. Yeah. I got this. I got that going on. And suddenly, uh, he meets Angelina Jolie. Right. Now, if you stop and you think about it, the biggest, you know what the word mishkite is? It's yes. an Italian word. It means <laughs> ugly. Right. It's, it's That's Jewish. Right. That's right. <laughs> this, this, this guy, uh, Billy Bob Thornton. Uh, looks like a, uh, looks like a uh, boss hit him, right? Yes, he does. <laughs> he dumped Angelina Jolie because he said she's got too many problems. But this is a guy who doesn't like antique furniture in the room. Well, that's crazy. And he only eats beige food. And orange food. Or whatever it is. Or whatever it is. Yeah, crazy. But, uh, uh, so here's a guy who, you know, basically should worship Angelina Jolie, but he says she's a problem. So Brad Pitt meets her. Yeah. Of course, he's on a set. She's the most beautiful woman in the world. She is pretty hot. And he gets involved with her. Right. And before you know it, they're adopting more children. Right. They're having children of their own. Right. Stop and enjoy two children. This guy's never had kids. Yeah. She's loading up the house with kids. Right. He's miserable. She's miserable. You can't just take kids in like they're stray dogs. You've got to <laughs> sit there and yeah. evaluate what kind of father you're going to be. You take yeah. a rest. You figure it out. Am I emotionally able to take care of these kids? Right. He's procreating. He's like a salmon. He's spawning. He's swimming <laughs> up stream, this guy. He's a dope. Now, how many do they have now? Who knows? How six. Many? Six? Okay, she's it's got enough. six. Yeah, it's enough. Now, you're going to... Listen, I know the puppy love is going on now between you and yeah. uh, Tracy. Tracy. Uh -huh. And I like it. I'm happy for you. I Good, want you thank with somebody. you. I That's want you nice. happy. You're going to like her. I'm going to like her. Yeah. I know it. I like her already. Uh, God knows what you two are up to. A lot. I'm I want to know. I'll I tell you. Know we have dinner. I'll give you all the details. Oh, I want to know now. Everything you want to know. Your whole staff is salivating. They all know. They know already. They've seen the photos. So how long before you kissed her? Um, How many dates? Four. There were dates, actual dates. Well, you know, she came She came down to Miami. And, and she, in other words, you had the great rap, which yeah. I did when I was single. Which was? Listen, we can't go in public. Yeah. Come over to my house. Yeah. <laughs> we'll hang out, we'll have dinner. Don't worry, everything will be fine. Yeah, that and, worked. And it's great because dip all that horse shit, get yeah. her right in the house. But you know what's funny is that she said when I said, do you want to come meet me in Miami? And she's like, yeah, I'll get a hotel. And I was like, I actually have a guest house, and you could just stay at the guest house. And, and she's like, all right. And so she came down there, and, and then she told me, like, I told her a few days later, you know, you're the first person I ever invited here. She's like, yeah, right. But you met her on the internet. I did. On your blog. Right. She asked if I want, she wanted to trade art. You know, a lot of artists write in and they trade art. That's from the crafts you do. Right, because I do painting and everything. And right? she does painting. Yeah, she's a great artist. She okay. was a sculptor major in college. I like this. Yeah. So I looked at her art, and then there was an article about her there about what she did. She owned two stores in uh, Seattle and art art stores and you know, and you were attracted to her from the picture you saw of her online the picture was tiny it was like a postage stamp all right but you were but connecting it was, right i told her she had had four children and then she gave birth to the fifth and then the the sibling of the first two right what didn't have a thought was in a lot of foster homes asked if she could stay and she said yes and she'd been living alone for five wow. years this is your these. kind of girl you're exactly right she's like you she's well, connected to people yes. she's into people right and she loves kids her focus is kids she yes. adopted the uh the mentally retarded kid 
She gave birth. She gave birth to that kid. To, yes, to wife. And she knew and she didn't get an abortion? Yes. Whoa, that's heavy. Yes. How many people would do that? Yeah. She's Me, pretty amazing. If, if you're missing a finger, I abort you. <laughs> I mean, for God's sake. Can you imagine? What's wrong with the kid? I don't like the eyes. <laughs> they look weird. Flush, please, next. I am so superficial. Yeah. No, is ba what's up with Beth and the babies? Are you going to... Come on, honey. What? Soon. We have animals. I heard you have animals from Listen, the North Shore Animal Beth League. and I have had many conversations about this. But there's going to be... I didn't want to... Wait a second. Stop. Oh, yeah. Now you're in an area that's... Okay, let me hear it. Go. Very upset. You have two girls. I have three girls. I thought you only had two. I have three. Two. One of them would keep quiet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy's famous. You have to stay in the house your whole life. Yeah. Never leave. Yeah. No, I have uh, three girls. Uh -huh. They're great kids. Right. My youngest is 17. My oldest is going to be 27. That's the one I didn't meet. That's right. And so, you know, I've, I've been through the fatherhood thing. I, I think I did an okay job. You know why I know you did a good job? How do you know? They love musicals. They do. They do. I'm telling you. They don't even like... If a kid who likes musicals, you're a good dad. Just musicals. All right. That's all they sing. Rent. Yeah. Uh, rent, I hate it. I went, I sat through it two, three times because my kids love it so much. I was ready to hang myself. Well, I'll take them <laughs> next time. Right. That's right, your I'll thing now. Yes. That's right. I got Rosie. Room. Yeah, 12 kids now. Yeah. We'll take your two and our 10. Uh, I don't know what's going on in your house. I, I swear I'm bringing a camera. Bring this camera crew right into the house. Yeah, especially that cute guy from Kings Park. So wait, Beth said she will she will forego motherhood because... No, Beth, uh, look, it's not forego. She's, she said... She, now, maybe she's lying to me. I don't think so. She says she does not want children. Really? Yes. Now, look, I love her. I, I really do. I, I adore her. Yes. And uh, I said to her, you know, when we started seeing each other, I'm a guy I don't want to have children. Right. I'm, I'm being upfront about it. Yeah. So I could be all wrong for you. That's honest. That's good. Yeah. I was honest every day. And she said, look, I, I know what I'm into with you. You're, yeah. you're older than me. I know you don't want kids. I'm telling you, I've never had that desire. If it changes, I'm going to come you know. to you and let you know. Okay, that's We fair. haven't had that discussion. She's 37 and we haven't had that discussion. Okay, so you got maybe three more years. That's what I'm hoping for. You've got to squeak by. A lot of animals between and now and then. And she keeps adopting uh, hard luck cases. Is, and I'm fine with it as long as they're not kids. It's, right. just, it's, it's cats, dogs, whatever we get, it's, it's fine with me. Now, you, you know? got a cat recently, We got right? a cat. Yeah, the cat's a mess. But, right, that's uh, funny. But we're taking care of the cat. Yeah, do you enjoy the cat? Uh, yeah, I'm okay. I, I like animals. No, you like your dog, but I didn't know I, you were a cat. Yeah, dog. I like it. I yeah. like the cat. Apple. All right. Yeah. Apple? Apple. That was the name. The cat was abandoned and left, and the only thing on the box was its, its name, Apple. Oh, I thought and it was a tribute to Gwyneth Paltrow. No, I'm sure it is in some bizarre, <laughs> some sick strange way. way. Yeah, right. Yeah. Some Gwyneth Paltrow fan who likes to abandon her animals. Right. Now, uh, let's get back to <laughs> Okay, get back to my sex life. So you have a date. I have a date. And, so uh, she, she flew in, flew perfect. into Miami. Because you're a celebrity, you can't yeah. be seen. Right, right. So she comes right over now, the house. Now, but here's the weird thing. I didn't even know if it was a date date, because we hadn't talked about anything sexual. You knew what it was. You knew what was going to happen. You no, I didn't, because happen. honestly, remember I told you, it? nine. Right. She brought me into the double tickets. Right. Ten. She's number ten, and they were ten so kids. She was coming Come on! Do it's two ten. Mm -hmm. Do you get dressed up for this first meeting? No, no, no. no. In Miami. <laughs> Wait. No. You didn't do your hair? No. You it was didn't in Miami. Got out of the pool. No. And what? she's a no makeup person. Can you believe that? But you didn't make a conscious decision. No, I, I'm going to fix had, myself up no. for my big day. No, you know what? I was taking pictures of Ellis, the nanny's baby, who's right. always around, a little one-year-old. And she pulled in in the car with the driver guy. And I said to my friend Eric, okay, that, the, remember that girl I told you I'm an emailing? She's coming here. She's like, is it a date? I go, I don't know. I don't really know. And wow. so she got out of the car. Wait. And then I saw what she looked like. What's she wearing when she gets out of the car? She got decked out. No, she well, she looked adorable, but she wasn't decked out. What'd she wear, Lou? Like cargo, like lime green cargo pants and sort of like one of those hippie-ish kind of girl shirts. No bra. No bra. That's why I big love boobs. her, man. Big boobs. Nice. You nice. like big boobs. I enjoy hers, I can tell you that much. No kidding. Yeah, Look at you enjoyable. with the big boobs. Very enjoyable. What are you doing with those boobs? I'm just curling them next to her any chance I get. Do you so spend a here, lot honey. of time on the boobs? The one thing I've read about... Yeah, boobs. high boobage, high boobage. <laughs> because I have... The, the thing that makes lesbianism so great, uh -huh. which is so foreign to me... Which is? The amount of time on foreplay. Oh, it's almost... its That's the whole thing. The whole thing, because, I mean, you know, sit there and lick her all night. Who cares? Yeah, like... I yeah, mean, yeah, you're yeah. rubbing the breast. Oh, the rubbing and touching and smushing and I love you and oh my God, and yeah. Look at you. It's you delicious. Are, I've never seen you like this. Neither has anyone, right, Neither Weenie? Yeah. Weenie's like, I don't know what's wrong with that. Do you think you've never truly been in love before? I think as you evolve and grow older, I think you become more authentic, and then you maybe uh, don't look for partners to fulfill the things that you feel you're missing. You maybe accept yourself for who you are and 
find somebody who uh, is more similar than not. Have you spoken to Kelly since you uh, hooked oh, up? Gosh.